FTIR instrumentation is available with a wide range of sampling accessories. Sometimes this may actually cause confusion when it comes time to optimize a method for a particular sample analysis. Because of the wide range of sampling accessories that are available, you do have actually many parameters which you can adjust to obtain top-notch measurements for a wide variety of sample types. When working with solids, liquids, or gases, typically transmission measurements are performed. As an example, with a liquid cell, the window material can be selected to allow measurement in the preferred spectral range for that material type. There are also considerations of material compatibility. The path length of the cell may also be changed by changing out the spacer. By changing the path length, you can optimize sensitivity for your material or parameter of interest. Typically, when working with solid materials, as well as some liquid materials, the ATR sampling technique is employed. ATR stands for Attenuated Total Reflectance, and a wide variety of crystal materials are available for these sampling accessories. Here we see a one reflection ATR. This is a good all-purpose crystal uh, format for a wide range of materials. It's extremely rugged and it's very easy and quick to get a very high quality spectrum of a wide range of materials. In some instances, the single reflection ATR top plate simply doesn't provide enough sensitivity for the sample or the parameter of interest. In those instances, then a multiple reflection top plate may be used on a sampling accessory like this. Perkin Elmer offers one reflection, three reflection, and nine reflection top plates, which allow the user to change the sensitivity of their ATR measurement. With those options, if that does not provide sufficient sensitivity for the sample or the parameter of interest, you may consider switching to a horizontal ATR. The horizontal ATR allows many reflections to occur between the sample and the ATR crystal itself. With these many reflections, now the sensitivity is further enhanced because there is additional interaction between the sample and the infrared light. Looking at the top plate here, you can see that the area of the measurement is much larger. A slightly higher volume of samples required and sometimes cleanup may be a challenge. These are several factors which affect the decision in selection of sampling accessory between a single reflection ATR, multiple reflection ATR, or horizontal ATR. For solids analysis, oftentimes diffuse reflectance is employed. Here we see a near-infrared diffuse reflectance accessory. Diffuse reflectance allows the infrared light to travel through a large volume of sample and allows a more sensitive measurement and a more holistic measurement which represents a wider volume of material. This can be preferable in situations when a very non-uniform sample must be analyzed. Or in situations where some of the other sampling techniques are either not as easy or don't provide the required level of detail and information from the analysis. Last but not least, another common approach was, which is employed with FTIR analysis is specular reflectance. So with the specular reflectance accessory, the infrared light comes in, is reflected to the sample, the sample is positioned up top, and the infrared light is reflected to the detector. This is oftentimes used to measure reflectance of materials such as glass or coatings and coated materials uh, such as paints or other optical coatings as well. These sampling accessories are interchangeable in the sampling compartment of the FTIR, which also allows users to change their configuration of their instrument on the fly, adapting to a wide range of analytical needs.